we are setting out on our first voyage and our first voyage is to gather reeds. Now I don't know how this is going to work if I get off the boat in an area but this is all trial and error on how these boats work. So I see a little bit of sand there. So I think I can get in the boat if I get close enough to the sand. Let's press shift to get out of the boat. Right, and then we will gather reeds. We are also on a voyage of discovery. interesting actually I automatically aim for the top of the reeds because what I'm trying to harvest is the top but it works better if you if you aim for the bottom wow look at the depth of the water it's quite incredible isn't it and we are going to be generating new land I am I have just upgraded to pre-7 and I understand that we have giant water lilies in pre-7 and I want some. Now whether we can find them, whether we're in the right area for water lilies, I don't know. But what I do know is we have to find so many ropes because we want to get, I think, rat lines first and then an anchor and they take an immense amount of reeds to make the sheer volume of rope that we need. So let's start with this lot. How many rope can we make here? Five, okay. And I know I have some reeds in the boat. Um, I can't access that. Uh, right, let's hop in here there I can access it from there can I make some more rope with this eight okay and the amount of reeds I need is 14 wow okay so let's set sail again and we will head off in this direction looking for the large reed beds. There's lots of individual reeds. Ah, that looks like a large reed bed area. Wow. Let's come off. I need to get close enough to the shore that I can get back on again. Okay, that looks about right. Shift. Wow. It's the first time I have voyaged in a boat. And it seems very um, apt that I should be voyaging in the boat to collect supplies for the boat. That seems very, very good to me. Another reed there. I'm just having a quick look round in case I see anything. I can see reeds on the shore. I'm not sure I want to go that far in. I'm not sure whether... I know that with real boats you can get them grounded and stuck on mud banks and things like that. Not sure how these boats work yet, whether we will have the same problems. One hopes not. Okay. And there's some reeds over there, we'll get those as well while we're here. Have a quick look in the water and see whether there is any sort of plant that we haven't seen yet. Let's have a quick look. 
this is the feather mill foil we've got that I think and the Thule we know and love really pretty okay now can I get into the boat from here that's the thing I'm not sure about or do I have to have a block to stand on like when you're trying to mount a horse ah oh, we've got in the wooden chest come on we want the seat no I can't I actually have to be one higher to get in. Hmm. Let's hop up here. So can I reach it from here? Right, there we go. Okay. So, um, access the storage. So we've got 13, we need 14 rope. That wasn't too bad, actually. Um, let's escape that. Oh, no, I want to go back in again. Empty hand. starboard seat. There we go. And off we go again. Wow, it's all a learning curve this, isn't it? And we are going to sail over to this area. Wow, that's... That looks like green bamboo over there. Ooh, nice. Another reed bed over here. Wow. Just ease alongside here. Right. Great. Nice. Oh, we've got some blackberries over there. Okay. Do I want... The, we've got... Yeah, let's go in the boat. You can, we can get the boat in there, I'm sure. So let's do that. Let's see if we've got enough for some more rope. We have, we've got 16 rope. Now, uh, let me get onto the boat. Now we ought to be able to attach these to the gunwales. Um, Rat lines mounting point. Okay. Shift. No. Control. I'm left click, right click, no. Left click, right click. Uh, shift. 
left click, right click. No. Um, I've tried shift and I've tried control, control and shift. That's not mounting. Why is it not mounting? Um, do I have to have an... It's awkward. Right, can I... I can't mount it from here. Left click, right click. Right, shift. Oh, dang it, I'm outside the boat now. Um, right, well, let us assume that we are, we've got that sorted, but I do need a lot more reads. Why can't I do this? I've come out the right hand side, interesting. This is a nice big reed bed. Let's have a look underwater, and this is feather mill foil again. Anything else under here? No. Wow. Okay. Up to 16 rope. Another five. Good. Keep going. Wow, this is a, I was so lucky, so lucky when I decided to build my boats in this area because there are just so many reeds in this area. So many reeds. And it's just been an absolute blessing to be able to come to this area and get all these reeds. If I weren't in this area, I don't think I'd have been able to build this boat as easily. So that's something to take into consideration for the future. Right. I'm also getting an amazing amount of grass, of course. How many have we got now? Right. 26, 9, 12. Uh, so I need 14, yeah, I just need, I think, one more lot of rope. Ooh. Right. Hello. Come with me while I am looking for rope. So many of these beautiful, beautiful reeds in this area. I'm just so lucky to find this. Hello. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, how many have we got to now? Another one? 15, yeah, 14 and 12. That should be enough. Lovely. What have we got round in this area? <laughs> A stray rabbit. Yeah, but we need to eat as we go. I haven't brought a lot of food with me on the principle that I could, as I am doing, collect as I go. Oh, what a lovely view. Yay. Well, let's collect these berries. Yes. I'll take these. While we're here. Okay, have a look underwater. Nice. Yeah, it's the feather milfoil in this area. Okay, and look, you can see the boat. Isn't that wonderful that you can actually see the boat through the top of the channel? That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let's collect a few stray bits. Right, let's get back on our boat. More rope. <laughs> okay. Um, yay. And we will... Am I? Am I stuck? No, I can't be stuck, can I? Let's get back to our normal position. Ah, that's interesting. It's much happier with me in the starboard seat. Now, what is it like to sail at night? We have the rope that we want. Let's, um, oh, that's edible. Let's unload our rope into there and that and that. We'll put our, oh, we've got some flax. Where did I, yep, some grains. Brilliant. Okay, so it is night. Let's come around here. And now we're into papyrus. Oh, wow. Now, there's a, a narrow channel here. Will we be able to navigate it? I can just see it ahead of me. Or will we have to go round? Oh, it's not that narrow. Wow. This is very green, isn't it? I want to come over to this shore. Go slower, go slower. Right, let's try that. Are those peanuts? I thought they were peanuts. Oh, they are peanuts. Wonderful. Oh, 
great anymore. Fantastic. What a great find. And there's our boat at night. Looks fabulous, doesn't it? In the setting sun. Now, how far have we come? Not far, I, oh my gosh. Yeah, the, the world is generating. Yeah, we need to go round and up here. Okay, we can't carry a bed in the boat. Well, we can carry a bed in the boat. I just haven't. Right. So, how do we get on? What is this? What is that plant? Water crowfoot. We oh, what I haven't tried. Can we collect it? No. Ah. Now, can I get into the boat from here? I need an empty hand. Wow. Okay. Look at this. Wow, we're in a real swampy area. I'm looking down into the water to see whether there's anything different here. It's just the water crow foot, I think. Yeah. Let me look on my map. Yeah, we're going to have to do some very careful navigation to get through this area. Wow. Now, I, this boat, will it go through this? Let me look on my map. I need it to come through this gap here. I'm not sure it will. I think it may be four wide. Will it get grounded? Yeah, it will. Okay. What we need to do is to go swimming. A spotty moss granite rock what are we doing with granite rock here that's what I want to know this looks like a could this be some sort of old ruin let's get the rock out um, we're okay as long as it's one thick. Oh, it is a ruin. Oh my goodness, look at this. We have an underwater ruin. What's down here? Okay. Very pretty. Uh, do I see anything that we could collect? I do not. I think I've seen these ruins before. Um, Alright, but we'll take a bit of muddy gravel. Now, let's get the rest of this rock out of our way. How amazing. That looks wide enough to get through. But, can I get back on the boat? That's the question, isn't it? If I'm swimming, can I get back on the boat? I can. Excellent. Can I now drive the boat? No, I can't. I have to be on the starboard side. Oh, okay, let's, whoa, let's swim. Yeah, 
right all a learning curve we're through here wow oh my word whoa oh my goodness what does that look like oh look at that sailing at night wow and there's a tree over there but that's not where we want to go Right, we want to come, yeah, we want to bend round to starboard here. Oh, look at this, beautiful. Oh my word. Wow, that bamboo is so solid, almost looks like a building. I think we are casting a red shadow. Wow, what a funny experience. What a fun thing to do. Yeah. sailing. Let's eat some berries. Can we eat as we sail? We can. Okay. Um. Let's go If we go this way, which is up here, here we go. Yeah, we want to go to port. Now. There's this odd thudding sound, which I think is meant to be the sail. Yeah, we're very close to... Look at how lush this is. And that is a flowering water plant. How beautiful. This, the crow's foot flowers. Let's go around this little bit. Wow. Beautiful. It really looks lush, doesn't it? Even in this light. Okay. Let me disembark. Yeah, this, this thing that's flowering is the water crow foot. How wonderful. So what is this tree? That's what we want to know. Cherry. Has it got any branches on? Uh. Now, hopefully, 
that should regrow. And I have three cherry trees. Wow. And soy. What else have we got here? Oh, drifters. Okay. And a rift. Nasty. And what are these trees? Look at the gnats. Lychees. Wonderful. I don't think we may have lychees. I don't know. What hit me? Oh, it's you. Why am I? Go away. Okay, is this a lychee tree as well? It should be. Pomegranate. Oh, wow. We are doing well here. Okay, let's just mark this. Um, Pommy, granite, and lychee. Okay, good. Is it going light? It is not. Where's the rift? And I am in an area. Can I see any giant water lilies? You know what? I'm going to go underwater. No. The water crowfoot is lovely, but it's not what I want, guys. Nope. And the other thing I've got to be careful of here is not to lose my boat. Oh, wow. Hello, hog. Yeah, it would be very easy to lose a boat here, wouldn't it? And what's that? Hornwort. Uh, can we harvest hornwort? No. Okay, so we can't harvest crow's foot or hornwort. There's the boat. Thank goodness for that. Yes, that's something to remember, isn't it? Oh, there's a cherry tree. All right, let's mark that. Okay. Yeah, we are... I think just over this line. Okay. 